dangerous She's armed and dangerous Armed and dangerous The chapter I was lead You know that I'm in please You're anticipating a call The days in the sun Slowly winding down The summer Has turned into fall Remember when the old time story was a heat Children don't delay The laser day Oh, who volunteered to come up here And do the other example You raise your hand first young lady Then you young man, then you Okay, now You are going to be doing Your names are? I'm just You notice I keep asking your names are? Yes. Because you have more than one. R is plural. So why do people say, what is your name? And you give a whole bunch of names. Is only mean one name. Right? So the question is, what are your names? In grass fish. Okay, your names again are? I'm Mr. Schmidt. Yeah, you're the Schmidt, right. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so 25725, five, right? You do a 25. What, what are you going to do to the 25? You're going to do what? Square it. Square it over here. Okay, go right ahead and square it. Okay? Uh huh. And what? tell me what's going to do next. Teach the class. You are the educator. Teach the class. Uh, Lift up, they. Lift up class. Talk to them. Let's talk to your class. Make a rhythm for six. Right? Rhythm. This is pattern, right? That's one of the principles. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. Good. Next? Then define a number. Uh huh. Higher than two. Which or is larger, larger. Larger, larger than two. two. Which is going to be. Three, so, so you're going to be three. three. Then put a multiplication sign. Uh-huh. That, that three times two is six. Right. Then, f then five squared okay. is two five. Two five. Compliment her. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She yeah. did it. You were. <laughs> All right. Who's going to go next and do the other? Come on up. Me. You, you next. Okay. Come on up. Uh, right here. Okay, erase this. Work the board. Work the board. Okay? The numbers are 6, 5 times 6, 5. So, you're going to square the 6, 5. Right? Square the 6, 5. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, we already got the idea. Okay? Okay? And then, find a number of... Larger than 6. I'll put it on top. 7 times 6 is 42. 42. Speak grass fish. 4-2. Four 4-2. Two. Four two. Okay. So Put the 4-2. Four 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 and you square the 5. Yeah, what you got? 2-5. Two 2-5. Two five. Two five. Compliment it. Big numbers. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, who, you next? Okay. Oh, by the way, what you said your names are? Kyrie Hugh. What are your names? Kyrie Hugh. Kyrie Hugh. Okay. All right. So, erase this. Work the board. Work the board. Work it. Work it. Yes, yeah. girl. There you go. <laughs> now, you're going to be doing... Whoa, big number now. Nine, five, ten, nine, five. Wow. And you stop us one, two, twelve, ten tables, and you go to 95 times 95, they call it? Which is 95 times? Beautiful. Okay. Uh huh. The next larger number to nine would be? Ten. Uh, one, zero. Thank you. The nine times one, zero is 90. Nine, zero. Nine, zero. Speak grass fish is the language. Five squares is two, five. Compliment her. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Hold with the mind. You got me book already? Very right, fast, right? Well, same thing he said. Grasp means to grab a hold with your mind. Or to hold on to. Okay? It's mental learning. That's grasp. Like somebody said something to you. He said, I grasp what you're saying. Right? People mean I understand. Grasp. Well, the better word than understand is stand. You don't want to be understand. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, firm. And firm what you're saying. Okay? And you're about to learn this. Now, first of all, we learn that grasp means to grab a hold with the mind, right? There are three levels, right here. There are, right, there are three levels 
of comprehension. C O M P R E H E N S I O N. Comprehension. There are three levels of comprehension. The first one is. Let's drop them below. Understand. Under and then stand. Right? The one below of that would be stand. Stand. And what the one above would be? Look at it. Understand. Stand and then what? Overstand. Right. Over. Since over all of them. Over. Stand. These are the three levels of comprehension. We have understand, then we have stand, then we have overstand. Let me explain how this works. Most people use this word a lot. They say, I understand what you're saying. But for my learnings, understand means I don't get it quite what you're saying. I, I, I get a little, but not fully. Because you understand, right? Notice stand is in here, stand is in here, stand is in here. Common denominator, stand. So stand means to be formed. From how? Mentally. See? Physically. So, and it means time means to comprehend. So, you don't want to be under the comprehension, right? You want to comprehend, which is stand. So, you can say, I stand what you're saying. If you really do get what they're saying. Then when you apply it now in your life, and you're teaching others, and they stand, then you overstand. You see? It's like the caterpillar. The caterpillar, we're crawling on the ground, under, right? And he's eating all the leaves and stuff. Then he says, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of being a caterpillar. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He said, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired of being a caterpillar. <laughs> right? That's what he says. And he says, I want to be a new person. I'm tired of being bad at school, says the caterpillar. I'm tired of getting into fights. I'm tired of starting fights. I want to be different. Fight is played out. Finance is out of style. Out of style. Yeah. So I want to be something better. Say the caterpillar. And so he prayed. He said, oh, if I talk to my maker and my creator, maybe I'll be something different. And while he did, one night while he was sleeping, an angel came and, and blew the angel breath on the caterpillar. And the caterpillar went like this. Mm. 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 And then when he woke up, he found out that he could get something called silk. Why? Right. It's like a thread line. And he used it and he cocooned himself and make a net. He make a nest. Cocoon himself. He wrapped himself up in it. Right? And in doing that, he said, I'm gonna now stand still. Wow. So he's standing still. Because he's turning now from the caterpillar into the butterfly. Exactly. So first, when he was a caterpillar, he was understanding things. Right? Now he stands still. I want to change. I have to stand still and listen. The creator gave me two ears, one mouth. Listen more, talk less. Like you're doing right now. Listen more, talk less. So he's standing still. And then he waited and waited and waited. And then he started going to some changes, you know? And then one day he breaks out of his cocoon and he becomes a very handsome butterfly like Dr. Yates. <laughs> <laughs> very handsome. Oh, 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 oh. Are you not there, right? Eh? You say, oh, 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 oh. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. And so he overturned. He breaks up and he's flying above. No, he's over. You see? He's over and out. He ain't crawling around anymore. He's flying. He's flying now. He's seeing the world from above. He's able to go places. He's able to travel. He's able to Sankofa. Can you say Sankofa? Sankofa. Sankofa means to travel away from all your problems. To go to a beautiful place. Right? Like a vacation. Complimentary. Go there. 